All right. Um, inside the furnace of a ground source heat pump or pretty much any uh, water or, or geothermal system is a heat exchanger. This is a heat exchanger from uh, our previous furnace that was installed by the previous owner. Um, it's an older model, but basically all air, all um, air conditioners follow the same principle. You have a heat exchanger where you have pipes that run refrigerant, crisscrossing set of heat exchangers, and the furnace will blow air through there. And once the air goes over this heat exchanger, it cools it down because the refrigerant is boiling and it sucks heat out of the air. Um, the dimensions of this are about 50 centimeters by 40 centimeters, to total surface area for the sum of the two sides. Now a ground source heat pump heat exchanger, um, at least ours anyway, is about twice as large and twice as thick. It's 70 centimeters uh, roughly on each side and it's twice as thick as the one you saw there. It pretty much takes up this entire width right here. <coughs> it's, uh, it's quite massive. Now because you're using refrigerant to heat your house, the refrigerant, even when you've compressed it, is not as hot as a flame of a natural gas, oil, propane, or wood, wood furnace. So you have to blow air over it much faster to get all the heat out. This is what this thing is. This is the blower for the furnace. When all the, the panels right now are all off on this furnace, and uh, when they're on, when you put on the last panel and that fan is blowing, it'll suck the panel right in. It's actually quite, quite impressive the amount of uh, force that's going on. Um, you probably can't see it in the camera, but there's black uh, sound insulating material all through uh, the furnace and on the panels uh, that have been taken off. They, uh, they really cut down on the sound of the blower, but also of the compressor. The compressor is really the workhorse of your geothermal furnace. This is the compressor down here. It's my daughter making some noise over there. Um, so the compressor will, will take the refrigerant, uh, compress it down to a fluid, and uh, force it through the lines, the 100 feet down, 100 feet up for each of the three holes and all through this entire mechanism. When all the panels are on, uh, we generally found the noise of the unit is about the same as, uh, as a normal furnace. It's, it's kind of impressive, actually. Um, the other thing that, uh, that the installer added on was an electric uh, boost unit. So once the, uh, the, the cool, cool air comes down from the house, this is a vibration uh, isolation piece of plastic, it comes over here. Uh, you have the option to have a second stage of heating come on where it's an electric uh, resistor. 5,000 kilowatts and it'll heat it up and uh, send it to the house. Uh, the total amount of refrigerant used is about uh, 6 kilograms. The, uh, the amount of power that the compressor and the blower take is about 10 kilowatts. And uh, around here, the, the net cost of electricity is 10 cents a kilowatt hour.